It's late and I gotta go to bed, but I saw a thing at the store and it seemed to not to be outdone by the Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. Coke has rolled out a summer flavor of their own. Sprite Limonade Legacy. A new uh, lemon lime strawberry lemonade as a companion piece to the already existing Sprite Limonade, which came out a couple years ago, which of course also uh, uh, complements Sprite itself. Okay, great. There's a curious thing here that the reason they're calling it Legacy is not because this flavor has existed before, but because they're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Now, uh, a guy like me doesn't know anything about, well, not that I don't know anything about hip hop, but it, um, what, what do I know about this? I know that, that uh, I, I don't know. I have inferred from uh, various commercials and such that I've seen is that uh, black people like Sprite. Uh, Starry is also trying to steal their thunder by appealing to black people in their commercials as well, or at least a commercial that I've seen. Um, and black people like hip hop. So it would make sense for Sprite to try to uh, celebrate hip hop. Makes sense, uh, I guess. But whether Sprite had anything to do with the creation or invention of, of hip hop, I am not qualified to comment one way or the other. So let's move on to the actual soda pop stuff. Um, so uh, this is evidently supposed to be like lemonade, um, but only with strawberries in it. Uh, fun fact, Sprite lemonade here is 1% juice. So, hey, that almost qualifies as a healthy drink as far as soda is concerned. Um, so let's give this a try and see what's going on. Well, you can certainly smell the strawberries right away. Hmm. What jumps out right away is, of course, that characteristic Sprite crunchiness. Sprite always seems to have a harder fizz than other lemon limes. Um, the other thing is the tartness of the limonade, which is that, that uh, refreshing flavor that they tried to go for with the original limonade. The strawberries and that extra sweetness comes in after those two things. Mm. And that's actually a pretty good combination. You, first you get the, the carbonation, then you get the lemon lime, and the tartness starts to play up. And then, and then coming over the top, actually no, coming in behind it, is the, the strawberry flavor. Um, and that's, that's a tasty, tasty drink. It's like a, a, a what do I want to call it? Like a, like a, like a popsicle. A strawberry, lemon lime, popsicle, something like that. Mmm. Mmm. Now, I have found this interesting about Sprite and Coke in general, or, yeah, Sprite, which is brought to you by Coca-Cola, is that lately, while the bottle design has remained the same, is, uh, uh, but they've abandoned their, uh, their historic green bottle and have gone with a colorless bottle. And this goes for uh, actual Sprite, cherry Sprite, Limonade and this Limonade Legacy, as you can see, is a colorless bottle. I'll show you that it looks like lemonade, really carbonated lemonade. So you got that that uh, uh, cloudy yellow color. Mm. And yeah, again, the, the first thing that, that pops in your mouth is, is the carbonation and the tartness of the lemon lime jumped up a bit because it's a, a limonade and the original limonade what was a tart lemonade more than a sweet uh, and, and of course carbonated all mm. so as the as the 
as the crunchiness kind of wears off, that's where the strawberries come in. And, and um, as, a, as a sweeter version of uh, limonade. Mm. Still pretty good. Yes. So this makes our usual comparison question a little tricky. Do you compare it to Sprite or the lemon limes? Do you compare it to Sprite limonade? Or, uh, well, I guess, well, let's just uh, try it all. If I was thirsty, I think I would take this over a regular Sprite. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of lemon limes. They're, they're fine. Um, but I'm usually not, when it comes to, to drinking lemon limes, I, I, I usually find myself not reaching for a Sprite. If for whatever reason, uh, because uh, the where I go, they don't have it. Or I'm usually going for a Coke or something like that. Mm, excuse me. Um, so I think I would take this over a regular Sprite pretty much any time. Just because it's it's novel, it's crisp, it's summer, it's going to be a little bit more refreshing than than a regular Sprite, I think, because again, it's that, that crispiness, that hard fizz. That's the one thing that, that it, it doesn't go down real easy. So it's not as refresh, refreshing as it could be. Um, but uh, once you get past that, it's, uh, it's not all that heavy um, for a soda. The, 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 the tartness manages to keep the, the flavor fairly light. So if I was hot, if I was thirsty, okay, yes, I, I would take this. Would I take this over a regular limonade, uh, over the, the original, not regular, but the original limonade? Mm. If I was looking for a drink on its own, I'd probably go with this. If I was looking for to have a drink alongside something else, I'd probably go with the uh, original limonade because that is a, a, a simpler flavor. It's not meant to be as sweet. It's meant to be a little more... Um, a, re a refreshing uh, drink, not so much the soda pop cordial or some of these other trick flavors that are just meant to be enjoyed on their own. Um, however, it's a, it's a close. It's like one on one A as far as limonade and limonade legacy here with a little bit of strawberry thrown in. Um, uh, so just a just a, a, a great drink to have uh, for the upcoming hot summer. It's Pretty hot already this week, uh, and it's only uh, well, it's June first today. So yes, um, great timing on the part of uh, Coca-Cola to to uh, roll this out. So um, there you have it. Enjoy. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.